Hi guys, how you doing? It's me, Sam. Uh, I thought I'd do a little bit of a vlog today because I'm just preparing to go and hit the road with Asia again. Uh, we've actually landed a really high profile gig. We're opening up for Journey over 46 oh. dates. So, uh, an exciting time. Uh, my son William is just down here. He's helping me sort everything out, ready to go. Ah. Uh, yeah, this is my new studio, which I haven't shown you guys yet because I've been busy learning Steve Howe parts again. here about a month ago it's my favorite place in the world you know I, I love it so much down here I've got all of my amps set up I've got my stereo pedal board uh, my Mac this is a TV which is an external monitor uh, all my guitars over there and you know me and William love hanging out down here he loves playing the bass and doing all sorts of stuff down here uh, yeah, what can I show you, man? Uh, I've got all of my old laminates from tours down here. What have we got? This is uh, a 50th anniversary party at Ernie Ball. Asia World Tour from a couple years ago. Sweden Rocks, this was like the first big high profile gig I did with Asia. Uh, more Asia stuff. More Asia stuff. I suppose mostly. Mostly Asia things on here. Uh, this is like a real favourite one. This is when I got to work with Paul Gilbert. He invited me and I got to hang out with Paul and teach a lot alongside Guthrie Govan and Tony McAlpine. It was, you know, one of the craziest weeks of my life. It was amazing, as you could expect. Uh, the Nam show back in the day. Another Nam pass. Uh, more Asia things. Japan. Japan was incredible. I think probably my favourite place to tour in the world was Japan. Uh, this is a great clock that my mum and dad got me. My brother-in-law got me this awesome picture. Uh, and check this out. This is from my friend Andre. He knows that I love drinking a few Guinnesses. And this is from my friend Ken, who got me this a couple years back. Uh, another good one on the board. Uh, a dressing room thing from... Uh, Another Asia tour a few years back. A couple of lava lamps for a bit of mood lighting down here. My, uh, my favourite little device for making YouTube content, the Yamaha THR10X. Superb little amplifier. And I've just got everything set up here for recording. This is running in the front end, by the way. Everything is in the front. Uh, Strymon Blue Sky is a wonderful reverb. Uh, ditto loop station. I'm probably going to take this out actually, don't need it. Uh, Vigilante Chorus. Uh, Plimsoll for a bit of a boost. DD3 Digital Delay. Uh, I've just put this on actually. This is the best sounding overdrive pedal I've ever played in my entire life. <laughs> You've got to check this out. Uh, Polytune 2, uh, you can tune every single string with a single strum. You know, between tunes, that is invaluable. Uh, and the old, uh, what do you call it, Jim Dunlop Wah. Yeah, a classic. Uh, to be honest, this is probably going to come off because I, I don't intend to be doing any wah solos on this shorter set. So I might as well take it off and uh, get the tone working a little bit better. Are you stomping on those pedals, William? Good lad. Yeah, William loves uh, mucking about down here with pedals. It's kind of uh, almost a kid's toy with all of these knobs and everything. What do you think, William? <laughs> Can you say hi? Hi. Can you blow a kiss? Well done, good boy, William. Say bye. Bye. Yeah. So let me show you what I'm taking on the road with me. Uh, now this one here, this is uh, 
this one has been used so much for the Asia stuff. Uh, in fact, every Asia show I've done, this has been used. Well, actually, maybe not some, some of the English ones. Uh, but absolutely killer guitar. Charvel SoCal, I got this back in 2011. Uh, a few new recent appointments on it. New pickups, it's got a PAF Pro in the bridge and a couple of choppers. Uh, just one volume knob that says tone on it for Eddie Van Halen. Uh, Damasio clip locks, very nice indeed. So excited to take that on the road. It's actually got a new neck on it actually, uh, aftermarket neck. I wanted something a bit curvier, so that's working out very well. And as demoed by William over here, this one is brand spanking new, ready for the tour. It's uh, it's loaded with some uh, some bare knuckle pickups. It's got the Holy Diver in the bridge. It's got the Abraxas, I believe, in the middle, and the VH2 uh, original Floyd Rose. Again, just the uh, single knob. Uh, William lights the whammy bar, five-way switch. Demasio clip locks again. Love those things. And uh, just totally awesome. I'm looking forward to making that my main guitar for these shows. String wise, I've got these amazing clear tone strings which are so great for playing live because when you've got big lights on you and you're sweating, uh, strings tend to die really quickly. But these ones last really nicely, man. You know, they're treated so they don't feel different to uh, uh, you know, regular strings. I hate that when you're playing coated strings and you do a pick slide and all of the uh, coating comes off. So these are great for that. And uh, this is my gig bag that William's sitting in. Uh, it's a gator case and it's a double gig bag. You can get one guitar in here and then another guitar on the bottom. It's padded really well. And you, you know, another reason why I love, uh, you know, gigging with those straps over there is because uh, it's so difficult to break straps, touch wood. Uh, you know, back in the day, traveling with my Les Paul, the amount of times I broke that thing was ridiculous. So uh, if, if, uh, if I'm lucky, I can sometimes get this overhead in the airplane, uh, if not, it's okay down below. I've got a rain case that goes over the top of it. And uh, they're pretty snug in there. What do you think, William? <laughs> wow. wow. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I don't usually do much of this kind of stuff, but I think I'm gonna get with the times a little bit and do some, uh, some vlogging while I'm out on the road with Journey and Asia. So subscribe for more and I'll keep you posted. So thanks for watching guys, see ya, bye.